Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Prompt Combinator nodes to quickly combine large amounts of prompts, generate images for each of them and export an interactive gallery that can be used to explore the results intuitively. The Prompt Combinator nodes can be downloaded from ConfUI Manager if you look for Prompt-Combinator or from GitHub. The link to GitHub is in the video description. In GitHub you can also check the workflow that I'll be using during this tutorial and the example that I've shown you. If you want to get notified when I publish more notes or videos like these, please subscribe now. Anyway, this is how to use the notes. You may first load the workflow from GitHub as a starting point. The Prompt Combinator has several text boxes. In each of them, you can write several options for that piece of your prompt. Empty lines like these will be ignored, and you can also comment out lines for testing purposes or to add notes. For each of the lines, you should define an ID. It's optional, but it helps provide the labels for the gallery buttons and it makes the file names more recognizable. The way to specify IDs is you write the ID, then the at symbol, and then the piece of the prompt. What the node will do is it will combine every chunk of prompt from here with every chunk of prompt from here, and each of those combinations with every chunk of prompt from here, and each of them with every chunk of prompt from here. So in the end, you'll get three times six times four times four different combinations of prompts. Prompts will be outputted here, and you can send them to clip, text, and code, and pass them to positive conditioning for your sampler. If I enqueue this prompt, it will take a while, and it will generate all of the possible images. Now, the last piece is you can connect the outputs to the Prompt Combinator Export Gallery node, which will take prompts and combination IDs from the Prompt Combinator, but will also take the output images. It will generate a file that is actually the image gallery that you saw before. In this case, we have the embed all images in HTML option enabled, which means this single file contains all of the pictures inside of it, which makes it amazing for sharing in uh, WhatsApp, Telegram groups, whatever. It contains all the information needed to show the full gallery, has no external dependencies, can run locally in a phone or a computer without the need for a server. If you disable this option, what you'll get instead is an HTML file and then a folder with all the different images. So that's actually it. Again, subscribe if you want to hear about new notes, workflows, or tutorials. And if you haven't checked my InPaint crop and stitch notes for InPainting only on masked area, check the link to the video tutorial or the GitHub repository in the description.